surge is when a big storm like a, like a hurricane is approaching a coastline and literally pushes the ocean water towards the coast. You might see in the case of a direct hit of a hurricane, water rise on the coast maybe 20 or even 30 feet higher than it would normally go. Sea level rise one inch or one and a quarter inches is relatively small, but if it comes on top of a storm surge and a high tide, that's the sort of thing that can really cause things, as mathematicians say, to go non-linear. Suddenly, things break down. You know, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back sometimes. are among the most destructive natural catastrophes we have. The fact that their total power has gone up by almost half in the last 30 or 50 years should be cause for alarm. An average hurricane generates about uh, 2 trillion watts of power. That's enough to light uh, about 20 billion light bulbs. A hurricane is like a giant steam engine. They're large rotary wind systems that form over tropical oceans. It converts heat energy into wind energy, and heat, in the case of hurricane, comes from the ocean. As the tropical ocean warms, the intensity of hurricanes goes up. Hurricanes happen naturally, and they will continue to happen. However, there is evidence now that the gradual warming of the surface of the ocean will cause a higher intensity of hurricanes. You can't really say that global warming had this or that precise effect on a hurricane. What you can say, and it's not a pointy-headed scientist's right idea, it's an observed fact. What you can say is that as the world warms, as the ocean's surface waters become warmer, the average intensity of hurricanes will increase. And we've seen that happen.